Hi, I'm Greg from Pivot Stove and Heating. I'm here with Stuart from Real Flame here in Geelong. Mate, we have, well, we've worked together and sort of competitors in a way, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. And for how long yeah. have we known each other now? Uh, nearly 10 years, 10 mate. Years, oh. Yeah, nearly 10 and years. Real Flame Geelong, I mean, you guys have been selling wood heaters, you, yep. you do with the Argus as well. Yep. And now you guys know how to put in one of these room seal flue kits. Yep. How good is that? Yep. Yep. And yep. they're good flue kits. Now, today's the first time you've actually put one of these in, and of all the jobs you could do, I think as a plumber, a 45 degree wall penetration kit on a two-story home with no access. Nailed it for complications. <laughs> um, but tell, tell, run me through your job. So how did you go today? Yeah, no, we went well. Thankfully, access was easy. So yeah, we, we're straight in with the heater. So the hearth went down, the heater went in. Yeah. And then start a length and the first bend, and then we could mark up the wall where we wanted to go through. Now this house, she's turn of the century. She's got a boy bit of age. And I think yeah. we've worked at how much lead paints on the, on the wall here. Um, but putting these in the original walls, the studs were a lot closer together and being a smaller diameter flue, yeah. you find, how would you have gone if it was the old style air cool flue kits compared to this? Yep. What would have happened is we wouldn't have been able to get the heater in the center of the wall where the customer wanted it and obviously where it oh, looks best. Yeah, it looks great. Um, so yeah, with the, with the narrow diameter outer casing, we could get our 25 up to the stud um, with the air air kit, then yeah, we'd have been off center and struggling to get it through the narrowness of the studs. Putting the flue kit in, what was the one thing you gone, oh, thank God for that? The adjustability on the bends, yep. um, because it enabled us to work from the heater to get the bend square with the wall. And then once we got the, the drop box lengths through the wall, we could then, we didn't have to worry about leveling everything up. We could put the bend on, adjust it just slightly to get it level. Yep. And then we were straight up the wall. So one thing you notice uh, putting this in, I know you, you've put a lot of these kits when you were plumbing in England. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. really nice to have it available yeah. in Australia. Oh, it's great. A little bit behind yeah. here, but that weight, I mean, there's a lot of flue on that heater yeah. and all that weight is sitting on top of the heater. Now, how, how did you find bracing it then without having to hold that weight up? Yeah, well, the, the majority of the loading is on the heater, um, but actually it, it held itself, putting the 45 wall, wall uh, penetration through. Um, it held itself vertically on the heater, so then we could just put a wall bracket on, and then when we got up to the roof level, we could put bracing on to, to actually take some of that loading. Now, we had Rowan, Rowan on the boom, yep. and safety is always critical. That's one thing I really love about your work, your safety is critical. Yep. Um, Rowan's all harnessed up, he's up yep. on that boom, getting that flue together. He wasn't on that boom for long, was he? No, <laughs> no, I don't think he wanted to be there for long either, but there we go. Uh, well, they're always scary to be on, but that height, what I love what you've done, you've complied to all the standards. You're three metres away from the roof, you're 600 mil above, you comply to all the standards. And here in Geelong, it's quite critical to, yeah. I mean, in a dense population yeah. to be right. Yeah. How would you have gone with a triple skin flue kit? It would have been a full day job for us, whereas, you know, we we're going to get lunch today. So it's... Well, I was going to talk to you about that. It's <laughs> three hours, man. Yes. Yeah. So three hours to do the whole job from, yeah. from where to go. Yeah. All right, yeah. That is well, that is a great job. You could do another one now. Yeah? Oh, we could do, yeah. yeah what are you doing yeah. now? Let's yeah. go. <laughs> All right, well done. Well, I'm Greg from Pever Stove and Heating, here with Stu from Real Flame. But if you're in Geelong looking for a wood heater installer, check out Real Flame. That's realflamegeelong.com.au. But if you want particular information on the flue kits, you can check it out on our website, which is pivotstove.com.au.